Hello, everybody. It's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about uh, a few things that have to do with plasma cutting with Bobcad. Uh, in this example, I have a part set up with some tool path and really I want to talk about changing your start position so when you have your feature set up in the tree uh, the cam tree you'll notice there's a default change uh, start point you can right click and modify and this will allow you to click around the screen where you may want your start position to be um, also if you need to change the direction if you want to go from cutting one direction to the other you can just click on the arrow to change that direction so that's just a quick tip there um, in addition I want to look at this lead in and lead out you can see we're doing a circular lead in and circular lead out uh, we have a couple of options for your lead in and lead outs one of them is an overlap amount this is a distance in which the uh, lead out will go past the lead in location so you can see how before we had zero for this value so they were uh, connected with each other and then I added a hundred thou so you can see how they push them apart okay so you can adjust uh, an overlap distance that's actually very easy to do you can make this a smaller or larger number one of the other things you can do is you can have a different lead in uh, and lead out value so for the lead out value I want to go to a right angle Okay, so this way it comes in on an arc, runs around the part, and then it comes off as at a right angle. So that's really easy to set up. Now, in addition, now that you have some uh, toolpath set up, uh, you know, this feature, a lot of times you're talking about sorting or how you sort the order in which things are cut. So what I'm going to do is remove my geometry here, and I'll reselect this circle in the center, and I'll compute that. So that's what I want to cut first. Okay. Now, one of the options that you have in the uh, cam tree is machining order, and you can set this to individual feature. When you set this to individual feature, the order in which the items are in the tree is the order in which they'll cut in. So if I want to cut this circle first, I can do that one. And then what I can do is copy and paste this feature and select the next group that I want to cut. So I want to cut these three holes. So I'll go ahead and do that and compute. So now I've cut these three holes. Now you'll notice that my lead in and lead out values are a little bit too big for the, that location. So we would just come in and adjust this. So lead in, we'll just make it half, we'll make it 50. And then now you can see how they've gotten a lot smaller. Okay, now so we did the inside, we did the three holes here. Now, if we want to do the outside again, we can just paste this feature in the tree, select the geometry we want to work with. Um, again, we can change our start location and then we can compute our tool path. So now it would cut the center, then these three holes, then the outside. Now, one of the other options that you have as well has to do with the corner types. So in here, we have uh, this 45 degree angle. If I wanted the tool to go past that corner uh, to get a nice clean corner, it's really easy to do that. We can go to quarter types and uh, we're gonna do this one here, which is triangle. And then we can add the length in which it will go past and then compute and then now you can see it will go past this edge come back and then cut in the other direction to give you a nice clean corners there uh, these are just a couple of tips on uh, uh, you know dealing with your lead-in options your overlap and corner types and also your machining order with plasma if you guys have any questions comments or feedback please reply back to the Facebook the YouTube or whatever thread this video may be posted in thank you so much